here this afternoon, News Channel 3 reporter Dave Alley was able to get a bird's eye view of the oil spill. And he joined us live now with the latest on how it looked out there. Dave? Uh, improving. Good, 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 good news. Good yes, news. I was able to get my first look at the oil spill site this afternoon, and what an amazing view it was and perspective that it gave me flying aboard a helicopter with the Coast Guard and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I saw just how large the cleanup operation area is, covering several miles along that spectacular coastline. Workers were out in full force on the coast. However, high tides, which lower accessibility, uh, did hamper operations late this afternoon. In addition, rough ocean conditions, particularly due to high winds reaching up to 25 miles per hour, anchored the skimming vessels. Still, while we were flying aboard that helicopter, Sean Hastings with NOAA told me he is encouraged with the cleanup process thus far. So I was on the scene yesterday and the amount of oil that was on the beach, a substantial amount of how has been cleaned up. Uh, much of the shoreline looks a lot different than it did yesterday when there was quite a bit of oil on the beach. We're still going to see some tar balls showing up on the beaches and uh, that, that lighter sheen is going to spread uh, at, as that's what oil does. Hastings says that oil has moved from one to three miles offshore, also a few miles south as well. He's concerned about the threat to wildlife that the oil uh, does uh, potentially have to uh, endanger uh, the wildlife as it does move out to sea and also the negative effects it could potentially have on the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary and the National Park. But overall, it's better than it has been for the last couple of days. That, that's what uh, Sean Hastings said in, uh, from the air. You really couldn't see the oil in the water, definitely on the ground, though, certainly. Okay. Good okay. news. Thanks, Thank Dave. you, Dave.